Hello, Leo. Welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So, Leo, these messages are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. This is also general, so not every message is going to be for you. Just take what is and leave the rest. So, let's go ahead and tap in. Spirit, give me some messages for Leo. What is the energy? Messages for Leo. What is the energy? Okay. Oh, reunions. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Um, we have the, the title card. Ladies, when we find us, we can empower her. Allow this deck to give you the guidance, truth, clarity, and healing that you seek so that you can have more movement in your life. As you step into this next level of empowerment, pay it forward and empower another woman. Okay, so for some of you, somebody could want to send you a message. So let's go ahead and tap in further to see what you can anticipate in the next 48 to 72. Spirit, tell me about reunions. Why is reunions here for Leo? What is the message? Why is reunions here? The Nine of Wands, okay. Give me another energy on reunions. Why is reunions here? The Fool, but it flipped out in the reverse. So listen, whoever wants to reunite with you, your guard is up to this person. Um, I don't see you taking any action. At least you don't desire to. Aquarius energy on the Fool. Give me an energy on the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? <laughs> the ten of wands in the reverse and the chariot yeah you moved on from this person um and then i'm hearing burdens to carry i feel like for some of you you're realizing this person only wants you to come back to like be burdened to carry responsibilities somebody wants you to take on their issues their problems but it's like you're moving forward like with this chariot here major arcana you're not looking back and then we have the wheel of fortune sagittarius leo taurus scorpio aquarius energy as well as cancer on the chariot so yeah it's like uh-uh no you're not moving back you are moving forward it's time give me an energy on the full in the reverse watch the full in the reverse here the seven of swords yeah i feel like for some of you you're getting ready to find out about some type of lies manipulation somebody could have just created a lot of illusion here somebody had you stuck in an illusion somebody just made you believe something that's not true about them about the situation give me an energy on the ten of wands in the reverse and it's like you're dropping the burdens yeah you're done with that you're seeing somebody as a burden and you see like the main reason why somebody wants you Give me an energy on the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Six of Wands. So, Leo, this is giving me, like, ever since you walked away from this person, or when you do finally close out this cycle, things are going to level up for you. Um, you're really going to start having a lot of success, um, just a lot of prosperity. You're going to see your life do a major shift, a major turnaround. I feel like just with the Six of Wands, I'm getting, I'm getting the energy of free. You're going to feel free when it comes to, you know, leaving this behind. Sorry about that, Leo. My niece is here. <laughs> Give me an energy on the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands here in the reverse? What is the energy? The King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody like level up here. <laughs> is dependent upon them like setting boundaries and just freeing themselves from a situation i feel like for some of you you did reconnect with this person but it was the same thing and then i'm hearing um the song all around the world the same song i forgot who sings that but it's an old song but it's like yeah you keep on repeating the same cycle and it's the same song ain't nothing changed with this person give me an energy i feel like i'm hearing like one more time so for some of you you could have wanted to go back and do it again just to see but like you're seeing like uh-uh no this is the same thing it may start off good but then it goes downhill and for some of you quickly tell me more about the chariot why is the chariot here for Leo? What is the energy? The high priestess. 
Pisces energy. Tell me more about the chariot. Why is the chariot here for Leo? Look at this, the devil. Yeah. Somebody's toxic. Capricorn energy. Tell me more about this high priestess. Why is the high priestess here? I feel like you're trusting your intuition by moving forward. But it's like this person trying to call you back though. Somebody just wants you to repeat a karmic cycle with them. Give me an energy on the high priestess. Next 48 to 72. Why is the high priestess here? The star. I'm telling you, you're being divinely led. Aquarius energy. You're being divinely guided out of a situation. Give me an energy on the devil. Why is the devil here? What is the message? The Queen of Cups. So this could be um, a water sign here. This could be a Cancer. You know, Cancer and Capricorn, North Node, South Node energy. But I feel like this person definitely operating out of her South Node. This could be the mother of your child, a third party here, somebody that you were just dealing with, having fun with, but they want to reunite. And this person is willing to compete. They're willing to do anything for the top spot. That's what this is. Give me another energy on the devil. Yep, the three of pentacles. They want to build with you. Yeah, they want to partner up. That's what this is. This definitely um is a third party to someone. For some of you, I'm getting like things may have not like started off too serious, but they ended up becoming serious. Um, it's like turning a sexual relationship, you know, into something pretty much getting a commitment based off of lust. Give me an energy on the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Leo? What is the energy? Or this is what this person is trying to do. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Leo? What is the energy? The Four of Pentacles. You're holding back. I'm telling you, ever since you started holding back from this person, somebody ain't going back. <laughs> I don't care how long of a text message this person sends, how sweet that voice message sounds. Yeah, somebody ain't going back. Somebody like, no, because I'm telling you, somebody has seen a vast improvement in their life, their circumstances, since they have pulled back from this person. Give me an energy on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Leo? What is the message? Look at this. I'm telling you, all this person does is tell lies. That's it. This person coming back, telling lies. Still not being honest, still being deceptive and a toxic energy. And then I'm hearing Mary go around and around by Keith Sweat. It just goes around. It doesn't stop. It's a cycle. Like this person don't know how to tell the truth. They don't know how to be authentic. This person feels like they can get things better by lying, by deceiving people. Give me another energy on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Leo? What is the message? All around the world, the same song. You know what? And it's like this person has done this to multiple people. Like this isn't the first time this person has been in this energy. It's like everybody to get with. That's why this person has like so many failed relationships. They're refusing to look at themselves. That's what this is. Give me an energy on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Leo? What is the message? The Queen of Swords, yeah. You made a decision to cut this person off and to walk away. For some of you, um, you're going to be going towards your counterpart here with this King of Swords. Or they're coming towards you. Somebody wants new love, a passionate beginning with you. Somebody has a lot of desires for you here. Somebody has a lot of emotions. Give me an energy on the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Look at this. Three of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, this Queen of Swords energy is like this third party. So, this feminine could have both air and um, water highly aspected. This person could have Aquarius heavy in her chart. But this is a third party. Somebody trying to come up with their next lie that they could tell. They trying to plan something to get you to come back, to reunite with them. Give me an energy on the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? And then I'm getting like this person has been able to 
get you to come back before and they feel like they're going to be able to do it again. Like somebody doesn't believe that you're actually done with them. Give me an energy on the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the Six of Wands here? What is the energy? I'm the Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody running away. <laughs> Somebody leaving fast. Yeah, I feel like you're working on yourself, working on your healing. I'm telling you, something has to do with the divine connection here. You want to come into alignment with your partner. Give me an energy on reunion. Why is reunion here? What is the message? Why is reunion here for Leo? What is the energy? Give me some messages for Leo. The Page of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to start over. They, But I'm just getting the energy like they always want to start over. Like, let's do it again. You know, break up to make up. Let's do it again. Let's start over. It's going to be different this time. They always want to start over. But it leaves you in the Five of Cups. It leaves you feeling depleted. Give me an energy on the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here for Leo? What is the message? Because you're the only one given to the situation. You're the only one fully invested. This person just wants you because they want somebody. Like a placeholder. This person don't like being alone. Why is the Five of Cups here? What is the message? The Seven of Wands. Yeah. You have your guard up to this person. For some of you, yeah, this person just lonely. Like with this Five of Cups energy, that's it. They just lonely. They just want something to do. This person is bored. Like, if they're not in a relationship, like they just they just don't feel worthy. They don't feel complete. Like this person has a lot of things they need to work on within themselves. They need to heal from. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here for Leo? What is the message? the two of cups yeah for some of you um this person is about to find out that you're in a relationship some of you are entering like a new connection and that's why this person is in this five of cups yeah for some of you you don't block this person and you've been holding back so yeah you're getting ready to start something new here now for others of you this person thinks even though they may not have the tangible proof, they think that you are already in a connection because you're guarded towards them now. This is somebody that was really able to um, play on your emotions, to always get you to let them back in. But now it's like since you're meaning what you say, like you're not going back this time, this person feels like you've already started something new with someone else. Give me an energy on the title card. Why is the title card here for Leo? What is the message? The King of Wands. Give me another energy on the title card. Why is the title card here for Leo? So Leo, this is your energy. Why is the title card here? What is the message? The Emperor. Whoa, okay. Why is the King of Wands here? For some of you, um, there's like a masculine here that has bossed up. Somebody's leveled up to an emperor. That's what I'm getting. It's like ever since you left this person, yeah, you don't leveled up here. Your life has changed. You have changed. You step fully into your power. Give me an energy on the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? For some of you, like... With this title card, I'm getting like people can see it too. People can see that you're doing better for yourself ever since you left this person. People are talking about this. Give me an energy on the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Whether masculine or feminine, it's energy. Why is the King of Wands here? What is the message? The moon, Pisces energy. Yep, yeah, the Queen of Wands. So for some of you, like you thought that this person was your counterpart, 
but this was like a queen of wands in reverse somebody was very low vibrational they hid that from you for some of you this person pretended like they were your match but they really wasn't it was in the reverse Yeah, this person just wanted to compete. They wanted you to choose them. That's it. And they did whatever manipulation they had to do. Like, they made you believe that they were your person. For some of you, that's why you kept returning. The Six of Swords. Yeah, you're leaving this person behind. I'm telling you, somebody literally tried to, I'm hearing copy, mimic um, the energy of your true divine feminine. That's what this is. And you're finally starting to see that. Give me an energy on the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Yeah, you finally see the truth about this person from your past. That's what this is. You recognize who this person is. That this person is a, a fake, is a copy. It's not the real thing. And that's why you're pulling back your energy. But somebody's still going to try to reach out to you. But it's like you're done. You're over it. Somebody's being left out in the cold. All around the world, the same song. Yeah, this person has done this before. And they're going to continue to do it if they don't heal. But it's like they won't do it to you because you're leaving. You're out of there. Give me an energy for Leo. Give me a final message, please. Lessons. Karma teaches what you need to grow. There are no mistakes. You never lose. You always learn. Yeah, this was a karmic lesson that you needed to learn. Um, first, you needed to learn about your soul's journey. Because I'm telling you, somebody has bossed up here. What you were put here to do, who you are as a person, you needed to heal and come out of the illusion. This person was just put in your life to teach you. I'm hearing values, a lesson about values, valuing yourself, valuing your time, what it is that you invest in. And then I'm hearing teach me how to love. Yeah, somebody needed to work on loving themselves and healing. Yeah, this was just a karmic cycle for you. Something that was meant to help you grow. And now that you have evolved, the lesson is over and you're moving on. So Leo, this is your reading. I hope it resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.